Example? I'm listening to him. Was Muhammad an example? This is a respectful listening. Was Muhammad an example to us? Is that a question? No, I'm asking you a question. Was Can he an answer? example? Can I answer it? Was, yes. He was an example. That's I why he took up sin. arms, he took up a sword, of he course. started one, and he conquered, and that's why the crusades had to stop him. The crusades stop had to Muhammad? stop Muhammad. They fought Muhammad? This man doesn't know the crusades happened hundreds of years after Muhammad You know why? Muhammad. Because they were following the caliphs that say, we need to conquer the world for Allah. Right? Let me ask you something. Come I on. don't like the crusades. Come. I, but how are you going to stop these people? Let me tell you about the how Bible. How are you going to stop these caliphs? The, the caliphs that want to... Let me wanna... tell you about the Bible. Hey, look. If it every... says, Jesus says, do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace but a sword. For I have come to set man against his father, a daughter against his mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Matthew 10, verse number 34-35. Now let's go back to the Bible. It says here, no one has seen God at any time. So, now we already agree there's only one God. Yes. And no one has seen that God yes. on earth. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm assuming that you do believe in heaven you will see God. Uh... The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, He has declared Him. Yes. Okay, now there, are other, there are other translations that say... You have another and, and, Well, I, I don't. You know, I have, I, I have it in my head. Gotcha. But the only... It says, no one has seen God at any time. The only begotten God... So that's, that's interesting. Who is from so, the bosom so of the Father... what does that mean? Is the Bible the Word of God? Yes. I believe it is. Literal world. Yes, I believe it is. Okay. Well, I, I don't have a problem with the Bible. I know a lot right, of so, priests so, have so let's problems. Forget those priests. Let's talk about you. We, we agreed together that there's only one God. Yes. And then you made a statement that the Bible is the literal word of God. Yes. Okay. So I see here in the Bible in front of me, yes. this is my own copy. Okay. Um, what is that, King James or something? Uh, the Gideon's Holy Bible. Oh, yeah, well, that's... Uh, I mean King James. Yeah, that's a good Bible, but... Uh, it's a good Bible? But the King James is a little bit different. From this that. is the King James. This is based on oh, King okay. James. Okay, the, very good. Uh, yes, yeah, this is oh, okay, very King good. James Version. Okay. This is the one you want to use? Well, I'm just saying that's fine. So now, here it says, No one has seen God at any time. Okay. The only begotten Son. But you said, in some version, it says, The only begotten God. So right. what's the Word of God? Is it Son or God? That's the, one of the problems in the Bible. You see, Jesus is not only the Son of God, this is correct, but some translators, and they mention He is God. In the, but in the what's original the word language, here? In the original language, He's called the Thaos. Okay. Thaos, okay? Anytime you were what to language see, is that? That's Greek. The, the, the New Testament was written in Greek. Actually, that's I'll forget about that. Wait, 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 wait. So, Jesus spoke Greek? He spoke Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic, and all kinds of stuff, you know. So the Bible he, was revealed to him in Greek? His apostles wrote well, it down in Greek? Well, you see, uh, Alexander the Great, 400, 400 years before Jesus, right. he conquered the world. Right. And he changed a lot of things but, into but, the but, Greek. But the Israelites didn't speak Greek. They spoke Aramaic. Well, they spoke, a lot of them spoke both of them. No, both, no, no, they, they were ruled by the Romans. Well, no, I'm, not the I'm, Greek. I'm saying that you know, Jews are not stupid people. I mean, in order hey, to hey, have, hey, in hey, order hey, to have hey. commerce, in order to sell by and sell, can, can they you, had to be able. Can you, can you show me any historical evidence that Jesus spoke Greek? Well, I wasn't there, so I, I really. I, I didn't ask for your eyewitness. I asked for historical evidence. Well, there's... Jesus didn't speak Greek. He spoke Aramaic historically. You can Google it when you get yeah. home. Well, Jesus was a brilliant person. Uh, I believe he was a prophet, not just a brilliant, more than brilliant, but that doesn't mean that he spoke Greek. Yeah, I mean, well, you, you're okay. a brilliant person, do you speak Hebrew? No, I'm not. I speak a little Hebrew, but the Hindi, point... Hindi, I said Hindi. No, what I spoke was... Uh, no, no, but I'm saying, just because you're a brilliant person doesn't mean you speak every language in the world. Jesus <laughs> no, spoke... I'm not brilliant. <laughs> Alright, he's a brilliant person. doesn't mean he speaks Chinese. Alright, the point is, if you're saying the New Testament... Uh, the King James Version was in Greek. Not only do you not know about the Aramaic 
and, and language structure of the Hebrew people, but you also didn't know that King James actually sanctioned this in English. And that's why it's called the King James Version, because it was originally compiled in English. And it was the first translation because the Romans wouldn't let you translate from Latin originally. So, we have... Have you ever heard of the Septuagint? Sure. Okay, the Septuagint mm -hmm. says, it's, it's no one has seen God any time. The only but, wait, God. Let's, go back, let's go back to the verse here. Okay. So, okay. so, this is not originally from Greek. Well, I think, I think it is. No, no, it, 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 it's, it's not about what we think. Well, let's just it, simply say, okay, so, it so, doesn't so, say God. We okay. have many, many other verses so this to talk is a very, about This Jesus. is a very good point, that if we are to take this as a literal word of God, and I'm going to ask you about a different verse then. In the book of Palms, okay. or Psalms, in the first chapter, in the seventh verse, it says about David, I declare the decree the Lord has said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Yes. Does that tell you so, something special? So, so, no, my question is, is David the son of God? No, he's talking about, he's talking about the pre-incarnate Jesus. Okay, so, so, so he says that, Jesus Jesus and, and David said David. that, look, and the David said, the Lord, my Lord said to, the Lord said to my Lord. No, no, I will declare the decree, the Lord said to me. Mm -hmm. Yes. To David. Yes, to David. You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Actually, it doesn't really mean you, that. Uh, we're talking about the verse. Yeah, I'm talking so about in the verse. In the verse, God is telling David, mm -hmm. and according to you, this is the literal word of God, so it's correct, that you are my son. I have begotten you. Yes. So my question to you is, okay. is David the older brother of Jesus? No, uh, you see, the, the thing is, yes, the thing is, is is it? Go ahead. And we have it in the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, the sure. same thing. Let me look up the Hebrews. Okay. I'm here. Hebrews is this side. Alright. You have to. Okay, I help you. That's Hebrews chapter 1 is a very important chapter, okay? Mm -hmm. Because uh, what it says, let me see. Okay. Let me see. Oh, that's Hebrews chapter 2. Okay. Take your time. Okay, let me just, let me just read to you something. No, no, no. no. Find uh, the verse you were talking about. Well, I am. Yeah, I'm trying to. The whole chapter, you need to. To be in context. I read the Bible cover to cover. Oh, okay. Many times. Many, okay, very good. I even went to Bible studies. Oh, very good. And very I read good. it in Bible studies coverage. Very good, very good. Well, Hebrews chapter 1 is extremely important. The whole Bible is important. Can you find me the verse you were talking about? The reason Hebrews is so important is because the Hebrew Jews, the brand new Christians, were being so heavily persecuted by the Romans and the Jews that they, these Jewish Christians, these brand new Jewish Christians, were thinking about leaving until they got legalized, they were going to come back. What does this have to do with David being son of God? Well, I'm just trying to help no, no, you. No, 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 no. We're going to have a productive discussion. And I want to have a productive discussion. Well, we I'm trying to explain jump, something to we you. We can't yeah. jump from point to point. I'm right? trying to explain to you why the book of Hebrews is so incredibly important. Uh, that's not the point. We're discussing the son okay, of God. Okay, let me read it to you, okay? It says, David. God, God, okay, in various times and in various ways, spoke in times past, to our fathers by the prophets. But has in his last day spoken unto us by his son. Okay? okay. Of whom he had appointed heir unto all things, through whom also he created the world. Okay? Sure. He made the worlds. Now, who, being in the light, in the brightness of his glory, See, Jesus being in the brightness of God's glory, mm -hmm. okay? An expressed image mm -hmm. of his person, upholding all things by the word of his power. And when he had made himself, he purged our sins. He cleanses from our sins, you know, on the cross. Mm -hmm. He sat down at the right hand of the majesty of high. And having become so much better than the angels, as he has inheritance, obtained a more excellent name than the angels. Amen. For to which of these angels did he, talking about God, ever Amen. say, you are my son, today I have begotten you, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. To David. As, no, that's not David. This no, no, is no, no, Jesus. I understand, but, but he already said that to David. I realize that, but you okay, see, so what you're on. interpreting... 
I'm not interpreting, I'm reading the Bible. I just, just to, in Psalms, okay, mm -hmm. you, I, you've got this in your mind. No, I know. That I'm, I'm God is speaking. That God is speaking to David. It's, David. it's not Jesus. It's David, David. It's not That's what David. I'm saying. It's not David. You just said that. David right? is saying, the Lord said to me. Said to my Lord. No, no. That's not the verse. Let's, no, go, just back. Went, let's go back to the Bible. Okay. Right. Because you are changing the verse. Okay. Good. I will Find read the verse, the verse again, please. I will read the verse again. Okay. The thing I marked it. Okay. David says, mm -hmm. I will decree okay. the decree. Well, let me read it. Please. Okay. Highlight it. Okay. Let me see. And I will decree to the Lord. The Lord said to me, you Can are. you repeat that again? The Lord said to who? Let me see. Okay. And then he shall he, he, he speak unto them in his wrath, and distress upon them great displeasure. Yet I will set my king and my on my holy hill of Zion, and I will declare the decree. The right. Lord said to me, you are my son, today I have begotten thee. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You so, shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them to pieces like potter's clay. And now therefore be wise, O kings instructed you, judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice in trembling. Kiss the son. Yeah. It says, kiss the son. Sure. It doesn't say, kiss David. It says, yeah. kiss the... So, See, so this, is, the this is what they call a messianic prophecy about Jesus before he becomes wait, Jesus. Wait, wait, David says, God said to me... If you want to say David, 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 that's fine. But let's go to verse. Hebrews. Hebrews chapter... It's in the verse. So then there's a contradiction in your Bible. Let me There's not a contradiction it, because, you see, when you read the whole chapter, sure. it's a messianic chapter talking about sure. Jesus. Sure. It starts out, it says, this is why, do the, why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? Mm -hmm. Why do they do that? They're plotting against Jesus to kill him, to crucify him, okay? It says, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against David? No. Yeah. Against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, We shall break our hands, our bonds in places, and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh, and the Lord shall hold them in derision. derision. <laughs> then he shall speak to them and say, In his wrath, you know. And this is talking about the wrath right here, that sure. God's going to come down, right. you know. But he That's said... A but you see, you've got it in your thing. Here, you said you got it in David your, as well. I'm trying to tell you. So it's not David. This is what they call a Messianic prophecy. So when David says, God said to me, he's not talking about me. Your name is uh, Ulaman. 27% of the entire Bible, 1189 chapters, 31,173 cha chapters, talk about prophecy. 27%. This, this, this is not that, a prophecy. I'm talking, this is prophecy. Can I see the see, see, I'm trying to tell you. I mean, no, 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 I'm okay. trying to tell you, my friend, that this is talking about Jesus. Okay. And the fulfillment of Jesus right here is in, in Hebrews, right we, here. We read the Hebrews already, right? Yeah, let but me, that's, me the key, that's the key chapter we're talking about. Okay. Here you agreed this was David earlier, but now you're No, I didn't it say it was David. I'm saying it was David talking about the Lord said to my Lord, the Lord said to my Lord, he says, yeah, uh, well, how does it go? The Lord said to my Lord, it says, uh, I forgot exactly the wording. The Lord said to my Lord, uh, until I make them a footstool, until I make them enemies. See, the whole point is... is okay, let me ask you another verse. Huh? Let's ask about Luke chapter 3, verse 38. What about Hebrews? The what son, do you think about Hebrews? I heard you. Well, what is the it son, The son... He says, God, God doesn't speak through prophets anymore. The son of Enosh. What do you think of The son that? of Seth. The son of Adam. The son of God. Is this all talking about Jesus? Well, let me see. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about the, uh, the lineage. You see what they're trying oh, to do in Luke. In Luke, he's trying to say, is that the Messiah, the Chosen One of Israel, the Holy One of God, the Savior of the world, mm -hmm. okay, has come. And the lineage is from Adam all the way to now. So Adam is the Son of God. No, no. 
Adam no. is Adam is. Can, I, can you read the verse? It says the son, the son of uh, Ebush, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. Okay. So, so this thing is talking about the. It, it's <laughs> talking about the the you know, the. Andres, was trying too hard. Read the no, verse I, yourself. Okay. In other words, you want me to greet to you? No, no. What do you want me to greet to I you? Want, I want that you Adam is the son of God. Is that what you want? No. No, I'll I agree to you. it. Is okay. that what you want? Hey, I'm, let's say I'm Adam is the son you, of God, right? I'm asking you. This is your Bible. Yeah. I, I believe I'm, this has been corrupted. You believe it's the yeah. word of God. No, I'm, I'm asking you. In your Bible, when it says uh -huh. that David the son of God, Adam the son of God, Jacob uh -huh. the son of God, what does that mean? How many kids does God have? I'm talking about the one that born through the Virgin Mary. I'm asking what the rest the of the Quran says. Mm -hmm. The Quran says mm -hmm. in Surah 19, a virgin really? shall give birth to a child, and he shall be a holy child. Okay. Does that tell you anything? Yes. What does that tell you? It tells you that a virgin gave birth to a prophet of God, not the son of no, God. No, no, no. A holy Pure, sure. righteous child. Sure. How many people in the history of the world have ever been born of a virgin and called a righteous, pure son? One. What's that? Who's that? Isa. Jesus, right? Yes. Okay. But he's not Does the that son tell of you God. something? But he's not the son of God. No, the Bible he says. Prophet. Well, the Bible says that he well, is the more. The Bible than, also says David's the son the of Bible God. The Bible also says that Jacob's son of God. Jesus, yeah, but right. does it ever say that, that that Jacob and all these other people are the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Alpha and the Omega, the I beginning and the end, true. the Wonderful, the Counselor, yeah. the Mighty God, the Abba, the was, Prince of Peace? My question. Jesus was, was called the Prince of Peace. Do, does that mean anything to you? Uh, it means that there's a verse in the Bible that says that. That's what they, they're trying to tell you. That he's, the, you. he's the son of God, the son of man, the son of David. He's the son of Mary. He's is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the Did first and the he's last. The, son of man? the Bible says he is. A, Mark is very clear. I am not come to lord over you. I I'm come to serve you. He Mark the the hey, sixteen is, chapters is of Mark. Jesus, the son of man. Yes, Jesus is trying. He's confused. he's a title. He's trying to say. He's the son of God or son of man. He's the son of you both. See, Jesus has over a thousand titles, but you don't know about him. Hey, he's hey, called the Creator. He's uh, called hey, the Provider. Hey, hold on, the hold Savior on, on. is my friend. Did you know that Jesus one day is going to be called the True and Righteous Judge? Can, can I ask Did you, you know that? Do you believe that he's going to be called the True and Righteous by a man or by God? No, Jesus was fathered by God Himself. That's the reason why He's the Bible calls you, you, Him two you, times. You, you, you he is actually you. had intercourse with Mary. No, no, no that's what okay. the Mormons believe. Mormons believe Yeah, the that. Mormons believe that. That's crazy. Yeah, it's terrible. Right. It's terrible. But you see, the Father sent, according to Matthew, He sent the Holy Spirit. Do you understand the Holy Spirit? Yes. Okay? It's just like you have three people over here, right? Okay? And one guy is the, is the president of the corporation, right? Gotcha. And so he has, he sent his representative from the corporation to go out and do his work. Okay? Okay? And then you have another person called the Holy Spirit, and his work, his ministry is Two different. different people. No, there are three different people. Gotcha. There's the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They're not the same. No, there are one God. Wait, wait, you just said there were three people. No, no, I said people, yes, but I didn't say there were three gods. The point is that you have to understand, it's like the Holy Father in heaven, if the Bible says if we were to see God, the Father, we would die. Because our Father... If we were to see him, I mean, we, in, in, in the hereafter. Just a minute. Right? No, no, just a minute. If we were to see him, mm -hmm. his 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 glory, his majesty is as far as the east is from the west. The glory of God, he controls the universe. He makes the he upholds everything. Okay. Now he wanted he the invisible great great Father in heaven. He wanted to have a personal relationship with us. Right. So he sent his son from his. Bosom, like it says oh, in John oh, one eighteen, he, 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 he sent his son, okay, okay his to come forth from his. It says in John one eighteen, yeah, from the bosom, yeah. so, so from the kulpos, the, in the Greek, the kulpos, the inside. He came well, forth. Why do we go to Greek? Greek's not even the language of Jesus. And so what happens is he came and he went through the Virgin Mary okay. and took upon the form of a man wait, wait, so how, how, to die for the sins of mankind. Now here, this is, this is very that makes important no sense to me. because the Bible is very clear throughout the Old Testament. Okay. There is no taking away of sins without a blood sacrifice. You must have a blood sacrifice, so God says. Something. You must 
have a blood, you must give it to the Levitical priests, and you must put it on the like, altar. Is this like the Aztecs when they sacrifice the virgin? No, I'm not talking about the Aztecs. That's the same thing, right? I'm not talking about stuff? the Aztecs. The same concept, right? No, I, I guess they got it from the devil or something. But the point... Well, you said God says you have to have blood. Anyway, can I ask you this question? But let me see. Let's you go see, to the Bible. So you see, a, a spirit cannot die okay. where people can see. They have to have seen him. There has to be literal blood. What? So that's the reason why Jesus took so, upon so, the so, form. So before Jesus, when all those people who sinned that asked for forgiveness, who did they kill? I'm sorry, so what's that again? Before Jesus was born, yes. there was people, right? Yes. And when they sinned and repented, who did they kill? When the, who, whose blood sacrifice did they make? Excuse, excuse I, I, don't understand, I don't understand the question. The question I mean, is, the question they is, killed animals. You said they killed animals. It was a blood sacrifice in the Old Testament. 929 chapters of the Old Testament, if you read it, there is no taking away of sin without a blood sacrifice. Can, Jesus can, can, is can the you, Lamb of God that taken away. Jesus, Bible, when you, he said, where this is. Jesus is the Lamb of God that in took it away. Bible, this. Where does it show in the old times people sacrifice Thank blood? Thank you for interrupting me constantly. I asked a question. Thank you. It's not a lecture. It's a Thank you. I would just like to share with you okay. that, that Jesus, you Jesus is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. He was prophesied in the Old Testament, in 929 chapters, that the Messiah would come, the Chosen One of Israel, the Holy One of God, and He would take away the sins of the world. In the Old Testament, in order to get your sins cleansed, they would kill an animal. But you your show sin, me that? But your sins were still there. Okay, well, you said you read the Old Testament, you should know that. I didn't see it in the Old Testament. You show it to me. You made a claim. I don't believe that. You don't believe what? That in your the sins Old can Testament, be forgiven? Yeah, you can be forgiven just by asking Did God you for forgiveness. Oh, well. According you to, don't have to kill somebody. According to the Hebrew... Yes. Old Testament there you prophets. Are. Show it to me. The Hebrew Old Here's Testament. The Bible. Show it to me. But you said you read the Old Testament. I Sacrif didn't find it. What in is there. the sacrificial system? You've never understood the sac the I Pentateuch, not the believe. Jewish Pentateuch, I Genesis, Exodus, believe. Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. You've I've, never read that I once. Have. I've read it. Yeah, I think you need to read it again. I have, but you made a claim I didn't find in it. So what? can you show me? Uh, what, that, what is the, it? That the Hebrews used to sacrifice blood for forgiveness. Can you show it to me? It's throughout the Old Testament. You cannot show it to me. Can you find me a single verse? It's in front of you. What good would it do? Because you're just going to argue with me. What good would it do? <laughs> you, you don't I mean, what good verse. would it do? I, I, I'll believe it. Show it to me. What good would it do? See this? I, I think See, he can't show it to me. That's the problem. I can, can show I you a lot. Me? I can, can I show you a lot of verse? verses about blood can, sacrifice. Can I ask you about a verse? Can, can you read my, this Let me get my me. glasses out here All so right. I can see something. Sure. Okay. Let me ask you about yeah. this verse here. Why don't you jump to another DLC? Well, I'm not I'm gonna jumping. Show, I'm going to show you about blood sacrifice. Excellent. Can I ask you, you about this verse first? <laughs> no, I'm going to show you. There are plenty of verses. There's sure. tons of verses about a blood sacrifice. Can I ask you about this verse? All I have to do is look up the word blood. Do you have a concordance? Do you have, uh, does your, uh, uh, does your uh, uh, Quran have a concordance? This is concordance to the entire Bible. Sure. Anytime you want to find out a word, you yeah, can. We, we, have, we have search engines. Now I can do it even easier than that. Okay, uh, there's good. a scholar of the Bati who actually wrote one for mm -hmm. the Quran. Every word in the Quran writes that. Right, very good. I'd like to see one. Sure. Because I'm always looking for different verses. Okay, we're we'll looking for the word blood. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, this is all the words in, in the entire <laughs> Bible. Okay. Go, go, laugh if, laugh if you might. Yeah, because Allah is watching you laugh. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's laughing. He, watch yeah. that. Go laughing. ahead. You go ahead. And, and, and see, I'm showing you the I'm, blood. Calm I'm showing. No, no, no. I calm want down. you to laugh. Because Allah, mm -hmm. your God, and your God, and my God, he's watching you laugh. I'm not yes. laughing at you. Right, but you're see, I'm very, very serious. You're getting a little see, I'm very numbers, serious. So calm down. I'm very serious. Gotcha. You see what I'm talking about? You ask me, show me the blood. He doesn't. Show me. Right there, you say, show he doesn't. Me. It's right there. It's all there. All but these verses. I don't ask you to show me the word blood. I ask you to show me where the Hebrews used to have to sacrifice blood for forgiveness of sin. Just finding the word blood is not what I asked you for. I could have looked it up in an online dictionary easily. Exodus 3.22 too. Okay, let's take a look at it. Exodus, what chapter? Uh, 22.3. 22, 22.2, I think it says. I wish I had my computer. Yeah, me too. 22.3. If the sun has risen on him, 
there shall be guilt for his bloodshed. He should make full restitution. If he has nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. Where does that have blood being used for sacrifice by the Hebrews? I'm trying to look up. There's so many verses. I mean, we have 500 verses here. But there are and you want me to find something really quick, don't you? You want me to find something really quick, don't you? Okay, get back to me. Get back to me when you go back to El Centro. No oh, problem. then write it down. Uh, write that question down and I'll send okay. it to you. Excellent. Show me one blood sacrifice, right? That's the important thing. Get, get me a clean piece of paper, will you? Sure. And write down your questions, and I'll be able to give it to you. Because there are plenty of verses. There's not just one or two verses. I wish I could find one real quick for you. It's okay. Here. Write it down. All right. Now you say what? Show me. Show me. In the Bible. In the Bible. That the people before Jesus... Okay, before Jesus. Could not be forgiven except through a blood sacrifice. Okay, could not, could not be forgiven except through a blood sacrifice. Man, I can give you a ton of verses when I get a chance. Excellent, thank you so much. Yes. Can you please read this verse for me? What verse is that? It is it says, Kings. Okay, 18 years he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem for three months. Okay, what's that got to do with Can it? Can you read it out loud? I can hear it. It says, Jehoiachin was 18 years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem three months. Okay. Can you please read this verse? Okay. It says, uh, Jehoiakim was eight years old when he became king and reigned in Jerusalem three months and ten days, and he did evil in the eyes of God. I'm sorry, was he 18 or 8? Which one was it? The thing, but I have to look in the original language, because I, I, sometimes they make read? a misprint. So it's possible to make a misprint in the Bible. Do you have a Bible? Okay, let me look up these verses. Okay, what is it? What is the first one is uh, Second Chronicles. Well, I'll look up, just hold this a minute sure. right here, okay? I'm holding. And I'll look up the word Jehoiakim. Excellent. It's just H I J K. Jehoiakim. 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 Oh, okay. Okay, let me see. It says right here, it says, uh, and his son reigned instead 18, 18 years. Let me see. He was 18 years old. Let me see. I'd have to get back on you because can, I. Can you read the verses? I, yeah, it's just a partial verses. So you, you want. What's that? Can it's, I take a look at it? Yeah. It's uh, so, Jehoiakim. Jeho. It says he was eight here. Okay. And, and then in, in Chronicles okay. it's 18 eight, and eight, eight years. Eight, both of them are right here. Look. Eight years and 18 years. Yeah. So in 2 Kings, Which in, one? in your Bible, Which one? here it says, Which one? 2 Kings 24 8. Is there. He says he's 18. Is there a contradiction? Okay, just a minute. Very good. Okay. So did you know about Okay, this, this is important to you, though, huh? Of course, because there's the, the, the whole idea the of me trying God. to help you understand yes. that Jesus is God Sorry. in the flesh. That's not important to of you. Of course it is. Oh, well then why are we going to this? Because if that's it's just the like case, Jehovah's Witness. Can I, we go from here to here to oh, here. Oh, we're not. Here, we're not. Here, we're not. Here, we're not. Here, sit, sit down. Sit down. Let's I'm just trying. I, <laughs> can, can I'm I just speak saying. As well? I let you speak if you let me speak. Can I speak as well or no? I'm listening. Okay. You said this is the literal word of God. And you're basing your belief that Jesus is the literal Son of God based on this Bible. And if I find in this Bible contradictions, then how can I believe in a book that's filled with errors? Didn't I tell you already? No. It's printed in English. That means I have to go back to the original language, no, on to the original Hebrew, and find the absolute truth on this. Because this is printed in English. And oftentimes, you know, even in Aramaic, you know, they, they print something accidentally, and they put... Andres, if the Word of God has yes. print errors, yes. Yes. how will we know the truth? 
Well, we know the truth because Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the light. No man can come to the Father except through me. Where does he say that? It's in, that, uh, it's in John chapter in 14. In the Bible? John chapter 14. But you just told me it has print errors. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just saying, if it's in the English. But every you, book, you every Bible that I... You just print, and it had the so same thing. Basically, what you're so trying, this has an error, and that has an error? What I'm trying to say... I'm it, asking the question, can you answer? So this is an error, and this is also an error? I, I need many, to study this out. But in your Bible that you brought, yeah, I need to study this out. Does it this also not portion. show that contradiction? Actually, I didn't see it all because it's only a half a verse. I, I'll show like. you the verse again. Can you okay. bring it up? I'll show you both those numbers right there in yours. I, so need, this also I, I need to go to the original language. If you find in the yes, original yes, the same yes, contradiction, yes. would you then believe the Bible has been corrupted? Would, it, would I say the Bible is corrupt? I need to go to the Quran for only? Is that it? I'm Do I need to go to the Quran and forget the Bible? Then why do you even believe in Jesus or anything like that? Because why don't you just get rid of the Bible all the way and go to the Quran? We do. We read the Quran. Good, good, Jesus is good. in the Quran. Okay. Then you don't need to be able to broadcast in, in Balboa part mm -hmm. that Jesus was a Muslim. He was a Muslim. He believed in the word of Allah. That's why we believe in why Him. Why do you even believe in Jesus? It's in the Quran. Did I not answer your question right now? Why are you laughing? God is watching you laugh. Allah is watching you laugh. You're laughing. I'm serious. You're laughing. What happened now? <laughs> Let us go to the other verse. You don't, you don't believe the Bible. Though. Why do you give these verses? Because I'm showing you why you're wrong. This is not the literal word of God. But you do believe the Quran is, right? Of course. And the Quran do. says in Surah 19, Yes. That a virgin should give birth to... How can a virgin give birth to a child? By the will of how God. Is it? By the will of God, right? By the Holy Spirit. The Bible nope. says... No, nope. the, the Quran Spirit. doesn't say that. But don't the Bible, don't but the Bible the says Quran, that. But the Bible's But the Bible says that. But it's correct. So, okay, then why do we why do we even discuss this? It's we need to discuss the Quran. That. No, no, the thing with this is, all I'm saying is, you, if you don't believe the Bible at all... We don't. Then, okay. We then, believe then it was we, sent then by the God. the discussion is on. Well, nice <laughs> having you. Yeah. Hope you have a good trip back to... Yes, okay. Yes, okay. This is so full of inaccuracies. What, what's inaccurate? Show it to me. This is so full of inaccuracies. Show, show me one. Why? You're just going to argue with me no, and say I don't believe I it. I want to know. <laughs> show me inaccuracy. Show me you one say, inaccuracy. You, you say you better Show me one inaccuracy. I showed you in your Bible. Can you show me in my Quran one inaccuracy? You know, Have you read the Quran? No, I haven't read it all the way through. So why don't you read the I Quran? Read, I, well, basically, all it says is praise, uh, praise Allah and everything, blah, 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 you know, all of that's, is that not what the Bible says? Praise God? Yeah, but there's some... It's the same message, except that it's not corrupted. There's no salvation there's without no... the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why not? Jesus who said, died who told because, you that? because the, Where is that? the Holy Spirit of God told me Where? that. that okay, so now you're Bible. not going back to the Bible. You're going to the no, Holy, Spirit, the Holy of God. Spirit of God. He came me. and talked to you? I read something he where He came it said, and talked to you? I asked you a question. No, answer. Well, 46 years ago, uh -huh. I was in an airport. Okay. I could care less about God. Okay. My my father, my earthly father, told me there was no God. Gotcha. So why should I believe in God? Okay. Okay. I You're came back. I came back from my third tour of Vietnam, mm -hmm. and I'm in the uh, 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 in the uh, uh, in the airport. Mm -hmm. I was 25 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then all of a sudden, I couldn't hear it. And I couldn't see it. But it came to me that like you need to stop and you need to find God. Okay. And I didn't understand that, so I blew it off. Gotcha. Because, you know, I don't believe in God. Mm -hmm. And it came back to me the second, you need to stop and find God. Okay. And I'm like, where am I getting this? This is weird. Okay. This is weird. Okay. You know, I'm interested in everything for me, 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 me. I'm not interested in God. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, I'm pondering it. And this guy walks in the airport. I didn't know that he was a, a Christian chaplain for the air patrol, the civil air patrol. And, the, and look, and I, can't, I couldn't believe I had said this to him. I barely knew him. I didn't know anything. And I said to him, I couldn't believe. I said, hey, Larry, if the guy wanted to find God, where would he go? I go, did I say that? And he said, well, he'd come to my church. You have a church? He says, yeah. He says, do you have a car? I said, yeah, I got, I got a car. He said, well, you need a car to go to my church because it's not here in this town. It's in a different town. Mm -hmm. um, well, where is it? It's in a little town called Orchid, California. I said, that's where I live. Mm -hmm. What street? Because California State put this big highway in there, and they, they ran out of road. And just, uh, it's on Orchid Road. That's where I live. What's the address? 4380 Orchid Road. 
I live at 4630 Orchard Road. I'm a block and a half south of you. Great. There's no church there, Larry. Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, yeah, there is. He said, you ever see a sign in Latin that says Gloria, D-E-I? And I said, yeah, I think I have. You know, I'm not very observant, you know, but I think I have. You know? And he says, that's the name of our church. It means glory to God. I'm going, really? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I said. You mean that ugly gray block building that's about 150 feet from the road? And, the, and the, all the grass is dead? And the ivy is all shriveled? And there's nobody in the parking lot? And you know what he said? Mm -hmm. We're there on Sundays. Why don't you come? Only Sundays? Yeah. So I, went, I, so I went, and I went, and I said, I, and I went, and I kneeled, and I said, if you're God, you can reveal yourself to me, because, you know, you can make, and he did. He revealed and, himself to you? Yeah, you and I, I'm with a lot of people, hey, you, you saw and God. I'm with a lot of, no, I didn't say it, but, but he revealed himself, he filled me with the Holy Spirit of God, and he now, gave well, me an what opportunity. That, what does that mean, filled you with the Holy Spirit of God? Well, you read the Bible, you should know that. That's yes, what I have. Happened. The Holy Spirit is a fire on top of people's head, and not in them. No, there's more to it than that. It fills so, you with the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, what does that mean? That is the ministry of the can Holy I, Spirit. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Can you show me Sunday church in the Bible? No, I, I'm not even worried about small stuff like that. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> That's small to, stuff? Yes, yes, it's very small So how small you church. worship is small stuff? No, I'm trying to tell you something really important. Right. The ministry of God Himself manifested in the Holy Spirit unto us. Can you show it that could to happen you? to you one of these days. Can you show that it's through in the book of Acts. Sure. It's loaded in the book of Acts. Sure. 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 But you don't like it because Paul wrote it. I, I, I don't I don't care. You don't believe in Paul. I didn't say anything right? about it. I just it's, said, can you show it to me? The ministry the of the, right there. You said you read the Bible, you should I did. the book I of didn't Acts. Find it Write there. that down. The book of Acts, okay. it's all throughout. The Holy, the Holy Spirit of God comes up. I was going to give this to you, you know that? No, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, because this this will help you find the, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, the, the, and all kinds of the, the, wonderful you, things. Do you see my Bible? You see these sometimes? Yes, yes. This means I've read it through and through. You're very and proud. Marked as I can see you're a very proud of person. See what I've done? See I'm what I've done? I've done? You're a very proud person. Proud you're very proud of, of, of your accomplishments and everything. I mean, you're very proud of your of your of your dress and everything, your hat and everything. Else. Thanks. You know your whiskey. You're well, very I proud, think. aren't you? You see, Jesus Christ said that. All the armor is against the proud, mm -hmm. but the humble, God will lift him up. Gotcha. See, but you didn't read that part of the Bible, did you? I actually did. But oh, you did, yeah. by accident. But let me, no, you, no, no, you no, liked it, so, but you probably I, didn't believe it because me, it was in the me, Bible. Let me explain something. What's that? We as Muslims believe yeah. that the Bible, the original Hanjib, was revealed to the prophet mm -hmm. Jesus, peace mm -hmm. be upon him. Uh -huh. But as you know, Paul never met Jesus. Did he? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. And the he was born Damascus a hundred years after Paul Jesus. was a Jew. Yes. He was a totally but hardened Roman. Pharisee Jew. Yeah. He hated Christians. Right. He plotted to kill Christians. Yes, on the road, he did kill. On the road to Damascus, on the road to Damascus, the Bible says, all of a sudden he was struck blind. Gotcha. And nobody else heard about this. Right. And Jesus said. Paul, Paul, why do you persecute me? I am Jesus Christ, the one you have persecuted. This God. is the... God. Je God was telling a man, why do you persecute me? Well, I believe that Jesus <laughs> is God. But he said... So that you believe that God was begging to a human, begging, why do you... He begging, said, why do you persecute begging? me? No, That's he was reasoning with him. He God wasn't was begging him. Him. God was not... God is not... He was asking, God is not, a man, why do you persecute me? God is not... At, so God can be persecuted? Yes, absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. A lot of people are persecuted all the time. If you read God the New Testament, persecuted? God, God is persecuted, right? He's being yeah. shot down against and things like that. You know, you remember Cain? Cain yes. before he killed Abel. Yes. What did God do? He says, you, Cain, Cain, me from the Quran Cain, Cain. No, no, I'm talking about the Bible. Cain, Cain. Did, why are you so downtrodden? Why are you so angry? He says, Don't you know that sin is whispering? You know, aren't you? He and he went out God, and killed his brother. You know? And he went out and killed his brother. God was reasoning with Cain. So, so God needs to reason with people? God does that. And then people reject him? Isaiah chapter 1. Right. Oh, oh, Jerusalem, Israel, though you are be full of, you are full of sin. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you do not know, the donkeys know their corral, the horses, the cattle know their, the, but you do not know your God. And he says, why was Jesus sent to earth? Let us, he says, let us reason together, God says. That's what God does. Let us reason together. 
But you see, you're so proud, you know, you, you, no, you, you don't want to If no, I wasn't proud, no, why would I have been listening to you? No, you're not really listening to I me. I am listening to you. No, 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 you're not. I you're interrupting know. me all the time. I, I I'm trying to, to help you understand. More than you interrupt me. I'm trying to help you understand the most right. incredible thing in the, in the world, the great mystery of God, that God would manifest himself to us in the flesh. And that he would die for the sins of mankind. That makes he no was sense the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. And one day he will judge both the living and the dead. He will be the true and righteous judge. We're right here on the threshold of the Antichrist. You, you ever heard of the Antichrist? Yes. The false prophet the and judge. the beast from the sea? This yeah. is in the book of Revelation. Do you read the book of Revelation? I, I understand. And you know what? And we're right there. And all the true Christians who are really serving the Lord, not the phony ones, mm -hmm. they're going to be taken up and they're going to disappear. Gotcha. And you're gonna wonder. Rapture. You're gonna wonder. Yeah, you're gonna wonder where people like me are. Mm -hmm. But the church is still gonna exist because there's so many pony Christians around. Gotcha. And then what's gonna happen is they're gonna. Uh, the God is gonna send the four horsemen of the apocalypse to cause problems on is the earth. I'm listening to you. Yeah, but you know, God is gonna send the four horsemen of the apocalypse to cause so many problems. He's going to cause them to attack the earth, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna unite under another savior, an anti-savior, and the antichrist. You see, and. What's going to happen is that God is going to, at the end of seven years, going to be the Battle of Armageddon, and God is going to come, Jesus is going to come back on a white horse with his saints in the back of him, and he's going to attack the anti, cast him into the bottomless pit for a thousand years, and then he's going to start all over again in the Millennial Kingdom. I'm just listening. He's going, okay, he's starting out in the Millennial Kingdom, okay, for a thousand years, and all the children are going to be born here, and then at the end of one thousand years, the devil is going to be allowed to come up one more time. One more time, okay? And uh, try to trick the people like he did Adam and Eve, like he did Noah's people, like he did the Tower of Babel, like he did the Israelites, you know, like he did Moses and all these other people. And then he's going to be cast in the lake of fire. And then all the people who have died, they're going to rise up from their graves at the great white throne judgment. And the books are going to be open, the books of their life, the DVDs. You know, people are going to say, hey, I'm, I, I, I did all kinds of prayers to Mary. Uh, it's not going to work, though, you see. And he's going to say, if your name is not written in the book of life, you were cast into the lake of fire that burneth forever and ever. Then there's going to be a new heaven, a new holy city. There's no going to be no more sun and moon. There's going to be a new heaven. New... And Jesus is going to be the king of saints. He's going to live in the new spiritual Jerusalem. And the rivers of living water are going to flow into the paradise on it. See, the Bible says that the sinfulness of man is not going to alter the plan of God. He's going to bring us in paradise on earth. It's not going to be paradise in heaven, but it's going to be paradise on earth. And, and we're going to and, and we're going to be eating from the trees of life. We're going to be drinking from the living water. But you see, if you would just be a student, I could teach you this stuff and have your questions, really nice questions. I could teach you this stuff. But your attitude is, you know, you, you want to know, Jesus isn't God. He's God. How could God? How could, we can't see God. In it. Let me tell you, it's a mystery of God that God would can manifest I, himself. Can I speak? The whole world. Can I speak? Followed after Jesus. We have two billion people that More call themselves... Followers. In the beginning, uh, the, the, the whole, it says in the Bible that everybody was following after him. That We have after two Jesus? billion people. Yes! What about the Romans? They weren't following I'm not Jesus. See, you, see you, what you want to do is I'm you want to take it... I can't ask what, the question. Well, why not Hannibal? Let's talk about Hannibal. Uh, if the, you want to talk about Romans, you want to talk about this. I'm talking about Jesus. Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus. That's why we have two million people. You see, so you're interrupting me now. See, so who, who's who's the one proud? Who's the one interrupting? I listened to you for. Uh, you tell me. Did I not listen to you for this whole time? Yes, you did. When I ask a question, yes, you, you interrupt me. Yes, you do. Can I speak now? Yeah, but the thing is, is that you so you, will so you, not you, give you, me a you, chance to answer. I, I asked you a question. You asked me about God, and I tried to tell you about Jesus as God. I didn't God, ask you, you about God. Oh, okay. You say Jesus is not God, right? What I said. That's the backbone of the Christian faith, that God died for our sins. And that the Son of God, the Son of God, and, and that's what I'm trying to explain. the body of Jesus you died, not his spirit. You? you see, who's proud now? <laughs> who's interrupting? Yeah, let him speak now. He will speak, yeah. Let How long did I listen to you? Quietly, respectfully, humbly. The proud are those who claim others are proud. What I'm trying to explain to you, now you see that attitude? I see. I'm listening! Okay. What you're basing your entire belief system on is the Bible. And what I'm trying to explain to you is the Bible that you have in front of you. Mm -hmm. If you do historic research on it, mm -hmm. it has been corrupted mm -hmm. by man. Okay. And 
If you look, for example, in Kings chapter 4, verse number 26, Solomon had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots and 12,000 horsemen. How many thousand stalls? Well, that, that, that number doesn't bother me. I just me. asked you a question. I'm telling you an answer. It doesn't bother me if there's 40,000 or 4,000 or whatever. It bothers you. You know why? See, the Bible me? is corrupt because, you know it bothered, because it's not totally printed exactly the way I want. So if the Bible and all the Bibles that I have found and that you have in your hand have print errors in them, then how can the Word of God be print errored? How can it be corrupted? Where is the preserved Word of God? Because here in Second Chronicles, in the ninth chapter, in the 25th verse, it says Solomon had 4,000 stalls of horses and chariots, 12,000 horsemen whom had stationed chariots in cities with the king of Jerusalem. So what I'm trying to explain to you, this whole layout that you've made, this whole system that you've developed off a book that has been corrupted. So your base is corrupt. So what I need to do is forget that book. And I need to, I need to get a Koran and I need to study the Koran and be like you. Wearing one of these hats Excellent. and going around like this. And going, yes. oh, yes, I don't need to do that. And I need to. So you're no. being sarcastic. No, I'm just trying to tell you. You're being sarcastic. My faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. My faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I have to dump it. You have. I have to dump everything about Jesus Christ. You see how I respect you? I have to dump. Now, who's interrupting who? And who's being arrogant? And who's being sarcastic? And who's the one not? <laughs> listening with an open mind. I listened to everything you said, and when I presented you with clear proof from your own book of what I'm saying, you got upset. Instead of listening, don't be so proud. This is the way of the proud, to get arrogant and sarcastic when they see the truth. Instead, as I have read the Bible, why don't you read the Quran? And come and question me. I do read the Quran. Excellent. And you know what? Excellent. And you know what? I'm getting so well fed Excellent. by studying the Holy Bible. Right. From the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, all the way to the book of Revelation, okay. where it talks about the new heaven, the new earth, the new holy city. The Bible is congruent. The Bible is filled the with contradictions. I just showed them to you. Well then, you all right them then, all right then, why don't you just say that to people? It's filled we with, do. And why do you, why do you want we to discuss it with time. me? Why do you discuss it with me? I'm if you already have committed you. into your heart. In your I'm, mind that I'm the Bible is corrupt. To, I'm trying to educate you. Yeah, you are you trying to educate? Yes. Are you I, too proud I, to learn? No, I, are you I proud love to the learn? Holy Spirit. I love are God. You too proud I love the learn? Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Are you too, too proud oh, to learn? No. That's why I don't oh, no, Bible. no, no. I'm trying to tell you the threefold ministry of the one God. You see this? The threefold ministry of the one when, God. When you present proof, this is what the happens. The threefold ministry of the one God. See, yeah. all you got is that the Bible is corrupt. That's no, all got, you're saying. More than that. When I see you, I got a lot that's, more than that. that's all you're talking I'm about. It's how corrupt the Bible I'm, is. Because you gave everything me about the Bible, the Bible is corrupt. But everything you're showing is in the is beginning. Incorrect. God created the heavens and earth. Is that corrupt? No, it's in the Quran. Well, that was written four thousand years before the Quran. Yes, and who revealed that? Oh, and who revealed oh, that? Oh, how come that is incorrupt? Let me explain. How come that is incorrect? Can I answer? There's plenty. Can of I things. answer? You ask a question. You don't want to answer. Brother, can I answer? Brother. Can I answer you? Go ahead and answer, please. Well, it looks like you don't really want an answer, but I will no, give you No, no, you're going to interrupt me anyhow. So. I did not interrupt you. I have so much... You have video evidence that I listen to you and you interrupt me. Yes. Now you, you see, see make sure, you make see sure... Who's interrupting? Make sure that everything is my fault who's and this man is wonderful and pure, okay? Who's make sure that you don't I'm, cut that out of no, the film. I'm not going to edit anything. No, no, don't no, worry. Who, who's interrupting? Who asked the question and is interrupting? Tell me. Who's interrupting? You and you believe, to, you you believe that Adam was a prophet? Yes, I believe Adam was a prophet. And he sinned again. He's the one that got us into this sin mess to begin with. And that is a art. That's the mark of a prophet. You want to answer? He never asked forgiveness. You, you want to answer? No, you know why? You see this? You know why? Well, you know why? Because this, this is the interrupting. This is pride. This is what he was saying, that I interrupt him. When I listen to him, now he asks the question. He's walking away, not listening to the answer. So the only, the answer? only thing... That you, you the answer. only thing that you you're admire, the you're only thing, yelling. the only thing doing. that you respect, is somebody that will listen to you, somebody that will obey your word, no. and somebody that will believe everything you say. No, and I if, just want if we, if we try speak, to present, when you speak, I listen. When we and try when to, I speak, you should when listen. When we try to present something, you yes. automatically I interrupt. It. You I interrupt. did not interrupt. There's video. I'm trying I to explain to you, you the threefold ministry you of... You asked a question and you were not patient enough to even listen I to one single answer. I was trying to explain... You asked a question. Did you want an answer? 
I was trying to explain the threefold ministry of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit working together as a team. I listen to you. As the one God. I listen to you. Okay, what does the Father do? Look, you explain what does the, the whole do? diagram. He now. presided in heaven. Sure. The Son is Jesus Christ. Take upon the form of a man, die for the sins of man. Right. You, you know, said it, I heard it. And to be a representative of God in the flesh. An example. You see? You see was I'm, Muhammad I'm an example? I'm listening to him. Was Muhammad an example? This is respectful listening. Was Muhammad an example to us? Is that a question? No, I'm asking you a question. Was Can he an I example? Answer? Can I answer? It? Was yes. He was an example. That's and why he took up saying, arms, he took up a sword, he started a and he conquered. And that's why the crusades had to stop him. The Crusades they had to Muhammad? stop Muhammad. They fought Muhammad? This man doesn't know the Crusades happened hundreds of years after Muhammad sallallahu You know Muhammad why? Muhammad. Because they were following the Caliphs that say, we need to conquer the world for Allah. Right? Let me ask you something. Come I on. don't like the Crusades. Come. I, but how are you going to stop these people? Let me tell you about the how Bible. How are you going to stop these Let Caliphs? The, the Caliphs that want to... Let me wanna... tell you about the Bible. Hey, look, if it every... says, Jesus says, do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace but a sword. For I have come to set man against his father, a daughter against his mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Matthew 10, verse number 34-35. Did he say, I've come to bring a sword to kill? Did he I say, I'm going to yes. kill people? No, I'm going to divide families. My family is divided. You know why my family hates me? I did not come me? to bring peace you know but with a sword. You know what my family? Mm -hmm. My family hates me. You know why? Because I received Jesus as my Savior. That's the sword. That's the division. He came. He didn't. I don't kill my family. He didn't tell me to kill my family. Jesus said, 